Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a full face of my current favorites. I was having a little look back on my channel and I don't think I've done one of these for about six months. And I'm also gonna recreate a look that I posted on my TikTok, which is what I wore to the Wish premiere because a few people asked for that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's do it. First things first, we have the e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oils. These are the different shades. This section of the video is sponsored by e.l.f. and I am delighted to be working with them because these are so affordable and so good. These are eight pounds each. I had seen people raving about these and I love a lip oil but I can be a little bit fussy when it comes to my lip products because I want something that's moisturizing but I don't want it to be sticky I don't want it to be that thick kind of gloopy texture I also want it to give me a little bit of a tint I want it to smell nice I want it to give a nice shine and these tick all of those boxes and the reason I'm holding up these two in particular is because these two are my favorites they are called Rose Envy and Honey Talks I'm just going to show you what these two look like on my lips because my lips are feeling quite dry right now oh so as you can see, they have this really nice rounded, thick, plush applicator. I love a slightly more chubby doe foot for my lip products. Oh, and in terms of the smell, it's a very subtle minty smell, but it's nothing too strong or overpowering. So as you can see, it doesn't come out as pink as in the tube. It just gives a really nice hint of color and the texture, hopefully you can see. Wait, let me do this in real time. They are not sticky at all. They just feel really nice and hydrating and sort of like slippery and creamy. And they give that really nice glossy finish. So let me just wipe off this one and I'll show you my other favorite. So this one is the shade Honey Talks. And if you have been around for a while, I have always loved a brown toned nude. And this shade paired with my favorite nude lip liner, which by the way, if you're looking for an affordable lip liner, e.l.f. have just launched these, which are their cream glide lip liners. These are two pounds each. We have got Pinky Swear, which for me is the perfect, my lips but better shade, Baddest Beige. And these two are kind of the perfect shades to go with my two fave lip oils. This next one is Truth or Bear, which is a slightly more orangey brown nude. This one is called Mauve Aside. Sorry, my swatches are going really wonky. Mauve Aside. Spill the Tea. Dark Cocoa, Plum and Get It, I love these names. The final shade that I have is Red Receipt. I will put the swatches of these on the screen and I will be using the lip liners at the end, but for now I'm just gonna leave this on to hydrate my lips while I do my makeup. And in terms of the lip oil shades, we have got Crystal Clear, which is just a clear shade if you just want a bit of moisture, but you don't want any color. Pink Quartz and Coral Fixation. These two are also very sheer shades, so they don't have that much color in them, just like the tiny, tiniest little bit. Then obviously we have my two favorites, Rose Envy and Honey Talks. And then finally, for something a little bit more bold, there is Red Delicious and Jam Session. These ones look a little bit more intimidating in the tube, but actually swatched, they do not come out this bright. And Jam Session is the one that I've seen loads of people doing lip combos with on TikTok. So I think I will put this one on the end. I might try this one on as well with one of the lip liners. So like I said, these are £8 each. You can get them on the e.l.f. website, which is elfcosmetics.co.uk. I will leave a link down below. And e.l.f. is a brand. It's cruelty-free and vegan. Thank you to e.l.f. for sponsoring my lips in this video. And let's move on to the rest of my face. Also, let me know down below what your favorite products are. If there's anything new that you've discovered or if there's anything old that you are still loving. And this is not part of the ad, but the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, the original one and the one with niacinamide, which is this one, have been firm favorites of mine recently. So I just spread this all over my face, wait for it to kind of go tacky. It usually takes about like 15, 20 seconds and then um, it's sticky. That was my camera remote, but as you can see, uh, it grips your makeup on really well. <laughs> also, if you've been following me on social media, you might have seen that I have started powdering my primer, just like the tiniest little bit, just in my T-zone. I just find that it helps my makeup last a little bit longer. So, in terms of foundation, I've been loving this one, which I mentioned in my testing Korean makeup video. It is the Giverny Milchak Cover Cushion Foundation. I've got the shade Medium Beige. I lost the little puff that went in this, and then I remembered that actually in the box that I got it in, it was like a jewel set where it comes with a refill and it came with a spare little puff. But I've got to say, I've been using this, which is my little um, Nightmare Before Christmas puff from Spectrum because this works just as well as like the little cushion puff thing. I mostly have been wearing this when I'm not super tanned, as in when I don't have tons of fake tan on. But in my testing Korean makeup video, I was so impressed with this foundation and the coverage and the finish and everything. And I find myself reaching for this all the time, mostly off camera to be honest, because most of the time on camera, I will like bronze up my neck and look like I'm somewhat tanned, but this mostly matches me when I'm pale. But yeah, if you watched my video the other day, I tested another Korean 
Korean cushion foundation and they are just so impressive. Such good coverage, but it feels like nothing on your skin. I'm actually finding that I'm having to press into this quite a lot. So I think it is actually running out and I do have a little refill that just pops into it. But I love the coverage. I love the finish. It doesn't break me out. It has really nice lasting power. It is just such a beautiful foundation. My only thing, like I said the other day in my video where I spoke about cushion foundations is that their shade range is usually appalling. And when it's not running out, I usually need just like one or two dips and it will do my whole face. So absolutely love that. And I think it still looks like my skin. Like, oh, it's just so nice. For my concealer, I'm using this one from Charlotte Tilbury, which is the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer in the shade 4.5 Fair. Definitely spoken about this before, but I mean, nothing beats my Too Faced still, but I'm trying to use more of my concealers instead of my Too Faced one all the time. And I do really like this one. I find it blends really well and it does have nice coverage as well, which I've seen some people speak about this and say that it doesn't have good coverage, but I think it does. Honestly, I don't even really need that much coverage at the moment because that foundation <laughs> covered everything so well. In terms of cream products, I've still been loving my Made by Mitchell Curve Case, which I spoke about quite a lot in videos, I think. This is the light one. But other than that, nude sticks have my heart at the moment. I don't know why I was so late to the game with these. I think because I had the shade Bondi Bay in the contour stick before, but it was a little bit more warm. This one is Bondi Belle, which is a little bit more cool toned. And I've been loving this brush as well. It's the Spectrum Nightmare Before Christmas brush in A32, which I'm sure that they probably make this in other designs as well, but I've been loving it for foundation, cream bronzer, cream blush. And I've just been taking it from the stick. Wait, what do, you, what do I mean? Straight onto my brush from the stick instead of drawing it on my face, if you get what I mean. I just find that that way everything blends a little bit easier and it's less likely for my face to look stripy, which is great. I feel like I really got into them after Sophia Ritchie's wedding when her makeup routine went viral and then I like started using some of the bronzers and blushes again and was like, what have I been missing? Like, why was I not using these all the time? And again, I'm just taking that down me nose. And then for blush, this is the Nude Sticks Peach Pearl Nudies Matte and Glow Core Blush. So it has a little bit of highlighter in the middle, which when I first tried this, I was like, eh, I don't really think that makes a difference. But let me just show you. Again, take some straight onto my brush and then directly onto my cheek. And if you're a fan of Charlotte Tilbury Pinkgasm, I think that you'll really like this. I mean, in no way is this peach color. They've definitely got that shade wrong because it's just not peach. It's like a pink blush. <laughs> they do lots of other shades as well, but I've just been loving this. It blends so easily, so quickly. It has that little bit of glow in it and it's just so pretty. I really like it. And potentially even a contender for the wedding, I think. Which, oh my god, I have some updates about the wedding, you guys. Maybe I need to do a video with like wedding updates and also maybe like a makeup trial for the wedding because I am going to be doing my own makeup. Wish me luck. Let me just re-blend out those little pesky creases. Nothing new here. I'm just using my Laura Mercier. And I've kind of been leaving out my cheeks when I've been powdering just to leave everything looking a little bit more glowy and skin-like. Oh my god, I didn't blend out my nose contour. Does that look insane? Oh, I've just powdered over it. Hang on, let me see if I can fix this. So I make sure to do my under eyes, small lines, chin, and then let's do a little bit on me forehead. Make sure to get the eyelids. Then I've just been taking a brush and we'll just lightly powder the rest of my face. So just lightly powder over my cheeks instead of fully mattifying them. I definitely make sure to get my jaw though, just so my foundation doesn't transfer everywhere onto my clothes or anyone that I'm hugging. Yeah, I've just been leaving my cheeks a little bit more on the glowy side and then setting them with like a glowy powder or highlighter or something. And my two faves for this are the Beauty Bay Peachy Glow Palette, which is a highlighter palette and I mostly just go for this shade here. So if I just show you on one cheek, hang on. This is a pink toned highlighter. So it's not really a blush, but it kind of sets any cream blush really nicely and just adds even more glow back into it while kind of setting it at the same time. Like you see that? That is a glowy cheek. And then my other favourite is this Iconic London palette, the Silk Glow Duo in Rose Glow. I have been loving this recently and I've used this loads and as you can see, like it's not even really made a dent in it. There's still loads of product left. And again, potential contender for the wedding. So this blush is a really nice light pink colour. I've been gravitating more towards pinky tone blushes re recently. In the summer, it was all about peach, but this one is definitely more blushy, as you can see, than the Beauty Bay one. But something that I like to do is mix these two together, the highlighter and the blush, and it just gives the most natural... Ugh. It's just such a beautiful little palette. I absolutely love it. Let me just put some blush on the other side to make them look a little bit more even. Let me put highlighter down my nose. Just gonna put a bit of that highlighter down my nose. And yeah, 
I think my skin looks lovely. When I have been powdering like this though and not doing as heavy powder as usual, I have to use a setting spray, otherwise it will literally just slide off my face. I'll do that in a minute. In terms of eyebrows, I've actually really been enjoying the Glow Hub Beauty Brow Freeze. Freeze please brow gel, brow wax, which looks like this. I will say though, if you have particularly like unruly thick eyebrows, maybe this wouldn't last the whole day on you because I do find that by the very end of the day, my eyebrows have dropped a little bit. But I really like the way that it makes my eyebrows look because it does like hold them in place and make them look nice and fluffy. Especially when I've just freshly tinted my eyebrows. I feel like they look really nice with just a little bit of clear. I don't know, let me know if you have tried this and you do have particularly thick unruly eyebrows because maybe I'm wrong. So I wanted to mention it because I have been using it quite a lot recently, but it's not like my favorite in the whole entire world. But I am trying to get through it and use it up so that I don't waste it. Which is kind of a theme at the moment. Like I'm picking a, a few things and then using them quite a lot off camera so that I can just get through stuff. Still loving my Refi tinted brow gel in medium brown, nothing new here. Although this did explode on me yesterday and all the products started coming out of the tube and now it's really messy, so I don't know what that was about. The eyebrow pencil that I'm trying to use up at the moment is the Kai Brow Cool Brown Brow Pencil which I do really like. So those are my eyebrows. In terms of bronzer, I've really been enjoying the Laura Mercier Baked Bronzer. Matte Radiance in Bronze 01. It's not matte though, so I, I mean again, Laura Mercier have got that wrong in their labeling because it is definitely not a matte bronzer. It's got a tiny bit of a sheen to it, but I have been loving this. It's kind of like my go-to at the moment. Although it's very similar to the Kiko bronzers that I love, but I'm just trying to switch it up a bit. And another bronzer that's really affordable, which again, I keep reaching for, is the 17 Glow and Define Bronzer in the shade 01. 10. This one is slightly more cool toned. Quite nice for just a subtle bit of extra nose contour because it's not too dark. And then in terms of my eyes, the other day I went to the Wish Disney premiere and I did this smoky eye which had a little bit of brown in the waterline and it was sort of like a halo eye with shimmer in the middle. And a few people on TikTok asked if I could recreate it, so that is what I'm gonna do. I actually used this palette here, which I love and I've gotta say it is expensive. It's Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Instant Eye Palette Smoky Eyes of Forever. But I used this the other day to do a sort of eyeshadow wedding trial type thing. And the shimmers in this are so stunning. Like, especially this one here. You can probably see from the texture that there's a few shimmers that are more on the foily side. And then some others that are more on like the, just a bit of sheen kind of side. Look at this pinky champagne color. It's just so sparkly and beautiful. And I'm not saying that you need this. It is an expensive eyeshadow palette. But if you were maybe looking at this and wondering, like maybe you're a Charlotte Tilbury lover. Maybe you want to ask for it for Christmas. I don't know but I like how it's sort of split up into the different trios. So you've got like a little smoky trio there with a pink shimmer. Then there's a warm toned one. There's a more like khaki green one here. And then the last one is like a shimmery champagne sort of trio. Actually, there's a matte shade down there. But let me just swatch the other like foiled shades. The texture of Charlotte Tilbury's shimmers is, is really quite unique. Like they're very thin, but very sparkly. Like they don't look chunky on your eyes at all. So I feel like they would work really nicely for people of any ages really. And then the other thing, that I've also been loving is again from e.l.f. not sponsored. <laughs> this is one of their little mini palettes, the Cream and Sugar Bite Size Palette. I think that's what it's called. But it's this tiny little palette and I've been putting this in my handbag. And if you've seen me at an event in the past few weeks, I have probably used this on my eyes on the way there, either in the car or on the train. It's just such a handy little palette to have. And this shade is so good for like a smoky wing. And you've got your two shimmers in the middle and then a sort of my skin tone color matte. So I'm gonna take, <gasps> Oh my, I nearly just dropped that and it probably would have shattered on the floor. I'm gonna take this shade here, which is a matte medium brown, I would say. It's slightly more on the cool tone side. And I put this on the outer corners of my eyes and also the inner portion of my eyelid. So for now, I'm just gonna stamp it there. I will say don't go too heavy handed with this shade because it's actually darker than it looks in the pan. And then I'm just gonna gently blend in circular motions and kind of connect it in the middle. And I'm just blending this towards my brow bone. I did wanna try some of the other shades of the little e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes though, because for the price, they're really, really nice quality. But they're just so handy to put in your handbag, especially if you are disorganized like me and um, finish your makeup on the train half the time. I thought, oh my god, the other day I was at the train station finishing off my makeup and this man came up to me and was like, you don't need the makeup, you look lovely without it. And then just continued to stand there and stare at me for 10 minutes. And I was like, do you mind? Well, I didn't even say that. I just sat there and just tried to pretend that he didn't exist. And he was telling me how lovely I looked without it when the irony was at that point, I had a full face. I just hadn't done my eyeshadow. So mind your business. I'm actually just gonna dip into that beigey color from the e.l.f. palette and I'm just just gonna use this to help 
blend out the edges a little bit. Then I'm gonna take this little shimmery shade from the e.l.f. palette and just put this in the center of my lid, just to brighten everything up a little bit. But this is a really pale champagne-y sort of color, which also doubles up really well as a highlighter if you have forgotten to do your highlighter and you're also doing your makeup on the go. So hopefully you can see how that's just brightening up the very center of my eyelid. Same on the other side. Just taking some of that medium brown matte color onto my lower lash line. And then on my inner corners, I'm gonna take the sparkly champagne from the Charlotte Tilbury palette. And then I'm taking the dark brown color and I'm gonna use this as like a smoky winged liner. I did actually use an eye pencil on the day of the premiere. However, I put it in my waterline and by the end of the night, it had completely gone from my waterline. So just smoking that along my lash line. I'm just using that brush to blend it upwards a little bit and then doing a wing. This wing is a little bit more bold than what I went for, but that's all right. And then I actually took a brown eyeliner. This one is by Diego, Diego Dalla Palma. I've got to say, I've not actually used this one before, so I can't speak on its lasting power. Ooh, ooh. And I just put this in my waterline. Hopefully this one actually lasts because I used a different one the other day and it did not last at all. And then I didn't actually do this the other day, but this has been one of my favorites, the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner, but the brown one. Just adding that to the very outer corners. Then at this stage, I would do my setting spray and I always managed to get setting spray in my hair I need someone to invent something that you can just put over your head and it stops all the setting spray from settling in your hair because if you have frizzy hair like me it is so frustrating and I wish I had a shower cap on me right now so instead I am using this lovely piece of bubble wrap perfect and when it comes to setting sprays again i'm trying to use up ones in my collection but i've been loving this recently the urban decay all nighter ultra glow and this one as well the milk uh hydro grip setting spray this stuff is also so nice both of these lovely i feel like i've used the milk one on camera before though so let's um use the urban decay one today <laughs> I will just wait for that to dry. And then sometimes I do actually go back in and add an, an extra layer of powder, just like mostly here. And then for my lashes, I just used a couple of outer corner lashes. These are individual ones from Kiss. But let me just whack on a bit of mascara first. While I wait for that to dry, I am gonna do my lips and then I will stick a couple of these on. My favorite combo is probably Baris Beige mixed with the Honey Talks lip oil which I did already have on my lips. To me, this is just such a perfect nude combination and it makes my lips look very juicy. Oh, love. But then if I want something a bit closer to my natural lip color, I will go for this one, which is called Pinky Swear, which is pretty much the same color as my lips, just maybe a tiny bit darker. And this one pairs so nicely with the Rose Envy shade. So those are probably my two favorite combos, but I wanna try one of the darker shades. So let me just show you Jam Session by itself. Oh, this applicator. So as you can see, it doesn't come out as dark as in here. It's just got a really nice wash of color. I'm gonna pair this with Mauve Aside. Do this on top. Oh, that is the perfect combo. That feels slightly more autumnal. You could also easily pair that with one of the darkest shades. I love that. Wait, maybe I should have done that last because I also wanted to try the red. We can leave the red on. So by itself, this one does look the brightest, but as you will see, it's just a slight little tint of red. My lips are feeling so hydrated. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the red lip liner. And that is such a lovely, but almost slightly more subtle because this isn't like intense pigment red lip, which you know what, I'm gonna leave that on. Let me just stick on those lashes. One, two, three, and four. So this is my makeup done. Please let me know what you think down below. These are the eyes. I don't think I stuck on my lashes particularly well just then, but they will do for now. So everyone, that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please let me know what your favorites are as well, because as always, I'm constantly getting recommendations of you guys and trying new things and finding new things. If you like this kind of content, I would love it if you would subscribe. I mean, you don't have to, but I would love it if you did. I will leave everything that I mentioned linked down below in the description box. Thank you to Elf for sponsoring my lips in this video. And I hope you guys are doing really, really well. I will see you in my next video. Bye.